Hey guys, it's the Jailbreak Reviewer out with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about Lock Info. Uh, is a tweak for your uh, i i device, and it's just been updated for iOS 5. Um, it's got pretty cool features. Um, a lot of features have to do with Notification Center, Lock Screen, um, Info Sheet, Info Shade, and Home uh, Screen. And I want you to get this app. You get uh, 14 day trial and then your license is $14.99 or sorry $7.99 so after you got that go into settings and you get a few sections to go into license full advanced I'm just going to take you into general first you have collap collapsible uh, sections highlight collapsed show cell separators, hide empty sections and scrolling and then uh, in the status bar you can see where I have my silent switch on turn it off and you can dismiss previews <clears throat> the appearance you can change the theme I have it to iOS 5 and I'll give you a look right now You can also do show behind locked and then change the font size and header size. You can also get different plug plugins. I just have the ones that comes with it because that's all I need. I have Weak Hill Back Background Pro, Weather Widget, Phone Messages, Notifications, and yada yada yada. <laughs> and you can go in to get more plugins you can get. Lock weather, RSS feeds, things to do, a pigo to do, Twitter, and clock. So that is the plugin section. Now, this is the main one if you want it on your lock screen. I have this enabled, and you can do plugin visibility. And I have those all enabled. And the theme I have is going to be iOS 5. Let me. Respring real quick. And there you go. I was five theme. And the weather widget displays the time and the date back in the lock info theme we already went through that Let's see what else layout um you can do hide, hide lock clock hide lock slider show behind slider swipe to unlock and then reset to top visibility just activators nothing really Unlock gesture, set that activator, hide charging battery, hide during calls, fade on unlock, reset visibility. If you have a passcode set, you can always um, bypass the passcode, but I don't have one set. And on the alert pop ups, I have block pop ups because I have Byte SMS installed, and it just runs a whole lot more smoother. And I have album art showing background, and then dim delay. You can change how long, how long it takes your lock screen to dim. And home screen, we have almost the exact same settings as in lock screen, plug in visibility, select theme. But I don't have that enabled. I also don't have an info shield enabled. Notification center, I have it customized where I can want it the way I want it so it's not the exact weather widget. You can see I have the time on there, the date, that's about it. And you go into advanced and then just debug logging, data protection, and that's almost the whole tweak. And you can go in here and look, whoops look into what's new, show the updates, change logs, 
updated January 27th. New major performance improvements, fixed issues with calendar data disappearing, fixed wake on new SMS message, fixed iPad lock screen position, and notification size. So that is the change log. And that's about it. Um, it's a really nice tweak. It works well with um, IntelliScreen X, Byte SMS, and notification colors. It's a new tweak that, that just hit Cydia, so check that out. Alright, this has been a review on Lock Info for the iPhone 4. Um, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks.